Today's complex and dynamic cloud environments often rely on secrets and configuration information from a wide variety of sources, such as cloud-based secret services like AWS KMS or Azure Key Vault, password managers like 1Password, cloud provider credentials, API keys, or database credentials. Pulumi ESC provides developers with a way to create reusable environments that combine secrets and configuration information from multiple sources together, making it easier and more secure to distribute secrets and configuration information. Pulumi ESC builds securely on top of Pulumi Cloud. Here you can see the Pulumi Cloud console, extended with the new environment section in the left-hand sidebar. This environment section allows users to see all the environments to which they have access. Users can also create additional environments or search for an environment. Environments can also be edited directly here in the Pulumi Cloud console. Each of these environments can define configuration values, obtain secrets values from a supported secrets manager service, or both. Let's look at a couple of examples. The first example, this Net17224 environment, is a simple environment that defines a single configuration value. And then, using the Pulumi config keyword, exposes this configuration value for seamless use by Pulumi Infrastructure as Code programs. However, ESC is not limited to use only with Pulumi Infrastructure as Code programs. Let's look at another example. In this AWS US East 1 environment, we note a couple of important features. First, via the environment variables keyword, configuration values and secrets obtained from a supported secrets manager service can be exposed as environment variables. You've already seen the Pulumi config keyword, which supplies the seamless integration with Pulumi infrastructure as code programs. Also important to note here is the imports keyword at the top of this environment, which allows this environment to import another environment. In this particular case, the imported environment referenced as AWS credentials is establishing an OIDC session against AWS to obtain dynamic credentials. When you import an environment into another environment, the end result as shown in the environment preview section here on the right is a combination of all the environments together. Pulumi ESC's ability to expose configuration values and secrets values obtained from a supported secrets manager as environment variables means that you can integrate Pulumi ESC with other DevOps tools. For example, you can use Pulumi ESC with the AWS CLI. First, to show that this environment has no AWS CLI configuration or credentials, let's try to run an AWS CLI command. I have an AWS CLI alias that I've created that makes it easier to do specifically what I'm looking for, which is look for a particular EC2 instance that has a specific name tag. When I run this command, I'll get an error. I haven't supplied an AWS region. That shows that there's no configuration for the AWS CLI. But just to prove that there are no credentials anywhere, let's specify the region and run this command again. And here you see that there are no credentials. However, using ESC and its ability to dynamically obtain credentials via an OIDC provider to AWS and to expose values via environment variables, we can run the same command again and have all of the necessary configurations supplied by ESC. To do that, we'll use the ESC run command. We'll specify the name of the environment that we want to use, and then we'll run our AWS alias again. And we get an instance ID back. This indicates that AWS CLI was able to successfully authenticate to AWS and had all the necessary configuration values that it needed, including the region. We can show that this is the case by changing the environment from US East 1 to US West 2, where there is no instance that meets the criteria. And in this case, you see that the command returns nothing. This provides an excellent example of using Pulumi ESC to support not just Pulumi infrastructure as code programs, but other tools that are vital in platform teams toolboxes as well. Of course, Pulumi ESC provides seamless support for using Pulumi for infrastructure as code. You've already seen how a Pulumi ESC environment can use the Pulumi config keyword to expose the environment to a Pulumi infrastructure as code program. But how does a Pulumi infrastructure as code program know to use Pulumi ESC? That's handled by the stack configuration file. So let's take a look at the stack configuration file for a stack that already exists. And you can see here, this stack configuration file is using the environment keyword, which triggers the integration with Pulumi ESC. 
It's then followed by a list of the environments that the stack will import. And we're using the AWS US East One environment that we saw earlier. How do we set up a new Pulumi program to integrate with Pulumi ESC? Well, you'll start by creating your new stack as you normally would. And then you're gonna to need to configure the Pulumi stack configuration file. However, Pulumi doesn't create a stack configuration file unless there's a configuration value to store. So we're gonna create one and then we're going to edit that and specify our ESC integration. Specify the environment keyword and then give a list of the environments that we wish to import. In this case, we're going to import an environment named AWS US West 2. When I then run Plumi up for this stack, Plumi for infrastructure as code will use all of the configuration values supplied by Plumi ESC. In this particular case, that includes a dynamic set of credentials sourced via OIDC. It will include configuration values like the region where we're going to create the instance, as well as any other details supplied by the environment that Plumi infrastructure as code programs might need. Now this program will only take a few seconds to run and once it's done, there we go, then we can go back and run that same AWS command we saw a moment ago and prove that the instance was created in the US West 2 region. So again, we'll use our ESC command. Remember, you could also use Plumi ENV here instead. We'll specify the name of the environment that we want to run. And then we'll run our AWS CLI alias that will look up an instance ID for us. And after a moment, it returns an instance ID, whereas previously it did not. And that just shows that Plumi, uh, the Plumi infrastructure as code program seamlessly integrated with Plumi ESC for all of its configuration information. Plumi ESC provides an exciting and innovative way to help users manage environments, secrets, and configuration. We invite you to give Plumi ESC to try today. Visit plumi.com slash ESC and click on the Get Started button.